Okay, I'm hearing in my ear that we need to go to the phones immediately. We have a mystery caller. Okay. Curious to see who this is. Hello, mystery caller. Hello. Uh, how many calls do you get from Louisiana? How many calls do we get from Louisiana? I don't know. Every time Not we see lot. the area code, we trying to get my, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get my old Uncle Butch to call in every now and then to give us a recap of what's going on down there. But we don't get a lot. Who do we have? Who do we have here? Well, Brandon, I've got a purpose, and, and you've got a bigger Louisiana audience than uh, you typically would for this show. It's a little more than uh, family members, I think, today. Uh, my name's Doug Ireland. I'm up in Natchitoches, the oldest town in the uh, Louisiana Purchase, dating back to 1714. It's also the home of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. I'm the chairman of the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and I get to make phone calls like this from time to time. The 35-member selection committee for the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame met recently and elected eight people from a pool of 134 nominees for our class of 2018. And, Brandon, it wasn't your co-host who was elected. Congratulations. (laughs) You are going in the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Wow. Well, thank you. I I, I certainly appreciate that. It's a great honor. There's been... um, so many great athletes from Louisiana. So to be selected to go into the Louisiana Hall of Fame, for, uh, certainly humbled and uh, very appreciative of of that. And so uh, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. That's well, awesome. How about that? That's that's what wow. what a great news today. Did you know that's the really great news? And we've got a couple of people who know you very well who covered you during your days as a raging Cajun and even in Como High School days. Uh, Dan McDonald is on the phone with us, the former sports oh, yeah. director at UL. Well, I, I know Dan obviously very well. Um, I've I, obviously he was um, at the SID when I was in, in college, but he was there also. When, you know, my whole my dad's whole time there. So when I was a little kid running around causing havoc over there and chaos, you know, he was probably like, "What is this kid doing around here? Get him out of here!" <laughs> Well, Dan, you got some good memories of Brandon, I'm sure. Well, Brandon, we're just getting started on this one today because uh, there's some other people in line after me. But I just want to say I'm, I'm very fortunate to be part of that Hall of Fame committee. And I want to tell you, it was not a difficult choice. Uh, you, you're, what you have accomplished uh, going back all the way to Como High School and then at then USL and then what you've done in the professional ranks. And, and it's not just about – athletic accomplishments it's about the people and it's about the person you are and uh just what a tremendous person you are as far as uh athletically and out now out in in the uh i'll call it the real world uh on this very popular radio show there in denver and we we figured we thought that that might be the best way to sort of break the news to you and uh it did obviously uh you know it's worked out but we're uh we are extremely thrilled to, uh, to to have you among this group, a good friend of yours, Jake Delhomme, just went in a couple of years ago. Yep. And I know I know that he'll be there next June for this year's induction, as will a lot of your other friends. But we could not be happier. Well, I, Dan, thank you so much for for the kind words, and uh, I'm I'm speechless. This is this is unbelievable. wasn't expecting this today. Well, that was our goal. Yeah, our well, goal was I, to get you. <laughs> well, this we is got so awesome. Guy who who covered you, Brandon? Uh, from the Como High School days forward, uh, really the uh, the institution in uh, Acadiana, South Louisiana sports writing, Bruce Brown is on the phone with us. How you doing, Bruce? Brandon, what's up, buddy? Oh, I'm I'm doing good. I'm a little bit in shock here uh, today. <laughs> um, I just this is this is great news. I, I you know I, I I don't know what to say. I'm 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 speechless. I don't know if I want to cry or or smile, but I, I just can't thank all of y'all enough. It's been a few few years and a few miles since you and I sat in the Como gym and you were talking about playing for your dad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, it, I mean, it brings you back to the to you know those days. Uh, but uh, really, really cool. I certainly uh, uh, appreciate it. You know, you were you you've been along for the for the journey for the whole journey, just like um, uh, Dan McDonald and, and so many other people that that kind of helped me along the way. So uh, you know, like I said, just just very appreciative for everybody. Well, it was a, it was a, 
it was a pleasure to watch the vote unfold on, on uh, uh, as a member of the committee and to, to see the support that you had, not only from South Louisiana, but throughout the state, people recognizing your your talent, your contributions to uh, the college level and the pro level. And uh, some of us go back to the high school level when you led the state in receiving and stuff. Um, and uh, it's, it's just been a pleasure to cover you all these years and to, to see what a self-made athlete you 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 were and and are, and what a an, an individual you've become. It's it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much, Bruce. You know, you know, I've always appreciated you and your work and 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 all that you've you've done, uh, not only for my myself but but my father also. Um, so it's you know, like I said, you and Dan, uh, y'all mean the world to me. And there's so many people that helped me along the way. Can't thank you enough. Certainly appreciate Brandon, you. Actually, you reference people who've helped you along the way. Uh, you might want to turn around and look. Uh, there's someone who wants to congratulate you in person. Who's <laughs> Unbelievable! Guy that I'm, hey buddy. <laughs> oh wow, this is man. Wow, this is this is this is shocking. Um, wow, now I'm really about to cry. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Um, a guy that I've been trying to get in touch with the last yeah. couple of days. He hasn't answered his phone. Um, Don't what? even start. <laughs> Don't even start because I reached out to you a little while back, and luckily I didn't know what I know now. Right. Congratulations. Uh, Gerald Broussard's my name. In case you don't know that, uh, anyway, somebody needs to introduce Gerald. Yep, Gerald Broussard, my the, my former wide yeah, receiver not only coach, one of the great players ever here at UL, but also was Brandon's position coach for a lot of years. Yeah, yeah, he was, and a guy that you talk about. You know, I caused headaches long before my playing days at USL because <laughs> you know he coached with my dad for forever, and he was a part of USL. But I was always there, you know, causing havoc, and I was at the football camps, you know, kicking and screaming, and you know. Throwing a tantrum when I didn't get the football and, and just causing all kind of problems and issues for all the assistant coaches. Um, and so, you know, here we go. I can't, I, he's been a part of my life for, I don't know, uh, forever. And he was my receiver coach in college, one of my receiver coaches in college. And, uh, but to have him here today is just, um, how special. Oh, wow. I got, oh, yeah. unbelievable. Well, and, and, and as I found out, I mean, I had intentions as we had talked, I had intention to be here work related. And, um, after speaking with Dan and, and, you know, with the blessings of Bruce and Doug and those people, um, they were able to work this out so I could be a part of this and, and be here. So I'm excited, too, and uh, love you and happy for you. Well, I, you know, love you uh, and and appreciate you as I appreciate so many other people that, that helped make this happen. You know, just a, a, a little skinny runt that showed up at, at USL at I don't, 155 pounds and, you know, finished my career there. Uh, and and was you know 193 pounds and and got drafted in the NFL to, to imagine that happening um, couldn't imagine that never could have uh, but it was so many people along the way that helped me get there and obviously you know Coach Broussard my dad but just so many people that were there my my coaches at. Como High School, you know, I quit football after my freshman year, didn't play my sophomore or junior year, and they asked me to come back, and they let me play receiver and, um, you know, led the state in receptions. It just, it just a story that didn't even really want to play college, and, and then just to be here today to get the calls and the support, the love, you know, from, from all my family, my wife, and uh, my, uh, I don't know if both my kids are here, but my oldest is here, and so it's just, um, you know, it's, it's emotional. And, and and if you're just joining us, uh, Brandon Stokely, my partner, just found out on the spot that he is going to be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and he is now inundated with folks on the line who have supported him, his position coach from college, his family surprising him here as well. I mean, it's just one of the coolest things that I've, I've been a part of. I, I just completely shocked. Um, I don't know if, if we were lied to about the cameras in here. I think we were. I think we were. It, they were supposed to be set up because of something else. And, um, well, and it, the intent was to shock both of you. And, and I think it can't thank Armin and Raj enough for this, you know, with, with the blessing of, of Doug and Dan and Bruce and, and the people. And, and when we just mentioned that I wanted to be here, okay, and for them to allow us to – for me to be here. And then I, I just asked Armin, I said, look, this is what's going to happen – and then he took this and ran with it and, and to get all the people and, and to, to make it happen, to have the shock, which is what was intended, uh, 
listening to you, Zach, not knowing you, but uh, understanding a little bit about you, but, you know, being able to see that and be there and and, then can't thank the people over here enough. And going from, as Brandon said, a a, a little kid on the sideline uh, to a Hall of Famer. It's well, I cool. mean, I mean, we we had a good ride. I mean, we we had a good ride. I mean, I like I said, I grew up with you. I grew up uh, as a coach. When kid. you mentioned campers, you know, I, I right. coached for his dad for thirteen years, and Brandon would come to camp as a little kid. And, and but, but, okay, don't take offense to this, but uh, you, no, he no was offense, bad. No I mean, offense taken. He was bad. He just bad was. as like a bad good. boy. Discipline. Yeah, good no, guy. he was just no. He was just bad. He just, <laughs> and, and so, My son's and I, in here. And I know. I said, don't take offense to it. <laughs> okay, but, go ahead. <laughs> But but with that being said is and I used to tell Brandon all the time there's a fine line between spoiled and competitive, okay? And Brandon was very competitive, but every now and then would get spoiled. So we would pull him out of the game and say sit down. And coach would come fuss at me. What's Brandon doing sitting down? Well, he's being bad. He said, "What do you mean he's being bad? He needs to sit down." Well, put him back in. He's the best player. I'm not worried about that. He's being bad. And then I was he, young. Yeah, I was young. He grew. He now he's a Hall of Famer. And, and and this is pretty cool. This is all, again, if you're just joining us, Brandon Stokely, finding out he's going into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame class of 2018, a prestigious honor, uh, and, and being surprised from every angle, his position coach, sports information director, people have supported him along the way, but also day in and day out are the folks that he spends every day with is his family. Uh, Lana, his wife here, uh, why don't you hop on the line and, and, and say what the, this means to, to just your family as a whole. Brandon, congratulations. Um, you deserve this more than anybody. And um, most importantly, though, you're a Hall of Fame father, dad, husband, and person. So that's what we're most proud of. Thank you. And um, I would like to tell you that somebody really special to you has been waiting all day to talk to you. So here he is. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey. How you doing? You know who this is. Right? Oh, yeah, I know who this is. This is your old proud grandpa, boy. That's my grandfather. Um, hey. hey. 96 hey. years old, a uh, guy that supported me my whole life and um, uh, has been a, a, a you know, a father figure for me for, for forever and, and my biggest fan forever. Um and is it still is to this day. I, I don't think I ever did anything wrong in, in his eyes. So, um, hey, Paul, how you doing? I'm proud of you, boy. Well, thank you. Thank you. When, I, you, get, when you get to cry, wait to see you with me. We'll cry together. Okay, we'll cry together. We will. We'll, we'll cry together <laughs> right, boy. over over some I love, good. I love you. Love you, too. I love you. And congratulations. Thank you. You couldn't have a job better man, I'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I, I appreciate you, it. Paul. Love you, too. Love you too. Okay. All right. We'll 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 have we'll we'll shed a couple of tears over a good um, catfish dinner uh, with some um, crab claws and a good Louisiana uh, feast. So yeah, that that's awesome. That's my grandfather, who's just been a big part of my life for forever. This has so, got to be blowing you away right now. No, it's unbelievable. I come to work here every day, you know, and I'm thinking I'm just going to hang out with you and um, you know have to carry you through this show, and then now I got all this going on. My wife, my my uh, family here, my, Gerald Broussard, my former coach who I've known forever. You know, being able to talk to Dan McDonald and um, Bruce Brown, and it's just shocking. I mean, it's just blown away. I just never expected this. I'm expecting to talk to Bron- about the Broncos right now, and um, here we are. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Well, I, I will say this, and this is the only ad- anecdote that I'll add is that you don't get the type of people who called in. You don't get the type of people who would physically travel here just because you were a great player. You know, you're a great person, and that's why. Well, thank you. you. Know, I, a Hall, a I Hall of Fame it. person. Yeah, I mean it. And there's another a special guest on the line that wow. we want to pipe through right now. Uh, what what other mystery caller could be uh, calling in here? Hello. Hello. Hey, this is his sister, Sean. Hey, Sean. How are you? Hey, congratulations. We just want to say we're so proud of you, and we love you, and what an amazing honor. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. All right. We're always ready for a celebration in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Love you. And that, okay, we'll see you soon. That's my sister. Um, who, Responsible uh, for getting you through school. Uh, yeah, she, she definitely... Um, 
helped write a lot of my papers and, and get me through um, some of my high school courses and some of my college courses also. So uh, obviously uh, a big a big part of my life and a big part of my my journey to where I am today. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just you know I'm blown away, I'm blown away by the love and the support from family, friends. Um, you know, I, speechless, you know. Don't don't know really what to say. Just a, what a what a great special day for me. Brandon Stokely finding out on the spot he's going into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame class of 2018.